Hey there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. Let's jump right on in and see what's coming through for Gemini. Please and thank you so much, Spirit. Interference. Somebody's really tired and needs to take a break or take a nap or just step away from a minute for a minute. Sorry. An external party or energy is what I want to say um, is intruding on something you're trying to do here. Accepting that everything happens for a reason. Yeah, there's a rhyme and a reason for this, guys. If you're feeling tired, if you're feeling a little wiped out, it could be because things are about to pick up. So your body is just naturally shutting down so that you can get the rest you need before whatever big is coming. It does feel like something big is coming in, doesn't it? I feel like that's happening for all the air signs, actually. Yeah. I'm also getting, if you were not able to move forward in something, it's making sense why. Like when you when you finally have all the puzzle pieces together, <laughs> do you guys remember Wheel of Fortune? When you finally know what the answer is, you don't have to spin anymore and risk the bankrupt or, you know, you lose a turn or whatever those other cards are, right? Like you get to solve now. And when you do solve, you're glad because before had you had you been like, oh, I'd like to solve, you would have gotten it wrong. But you waited, or you had to wait, and then by the time it comes back around to you, you get to solve. So, and the payout's worth even more at that point, right? So something that seemed like a hiccup was actually a blessing. Hmm. I'm getting this is to throw your haters or your enemies off. Gemini, you absolutely have somebody sending some weird energy your way. And they are aware. They are doing it on purpose. It is spiritual warfare. And they know it. It's almost like somebody is purposely throwing black magic at you. This is somebody spiritual, but they don't play by the rules. They don't care about the rules. Ooh, that's very dangerous. I think you've come to accept that that's just how this person is with you or this situation or it might not even be you. It could just be that you're um, you're somewhere they want to be or you're gaining the kind of momentum that they would like to have or you know what I mean? It might not even be personal. It could be situational. Yep, confusion, seven of cups. Somebody is definitely trying to send nasty energy your way interference, blockages, confusion. They want you to question yourself, doubt yourself, fill your head with some crap that's not true. It's definitely not working, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now, it's not gonna work. Gemini, you know your worth and your value. You also know where people are gonna end up in their life and why. So like they might wanna watch it because you would be the one to tell them exactly who they are and why they're gonna end up where they are and yeah. Gemini is not the sign to be passing judgment on because they will t they will read you for filth right back. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Libra too. Uh-uh. Or Scorpio. And they'll go hard. Scorpio has no restraint. You especially have to watch out for the Scorpio moons. Holy shit. They will come at you at a direction you didn't even know they could. All right. Seven of Cups. Ooh, the Four of Pentacles just peeked at me. Yeah, you're holding on to what you know. You know your worth. You know your value. You know what you deserve. You know that you have what's coming to you. And you know what? If this person doesn't want to be a part of it, so be it. There's the door. Don't let it hit you where the good Lord splits you. You feel me? Yep, nine of swords. They're terrified. Terrified that their illusions aren't working. That their confusion, that their, their fear that they're trying to surround you with is not going to work. And guess what? It didn't. The sun broke through. You are very clear on what you want and how you're going to get there. You've already accepted 
your fate. You've already accepted this manifestation. If somebody doesn't want it for you and they're trying to interfere, the only thing they're doing is opening mouth and inserting foot. You see this person for exactly who they are. You know exactly what their intentions are. You know exactly what kind of game they're trying to play here. Yep, judgment. Like I said, they shouldn't have passed judgment on you. Because then you become very aware of who the who they are. And who do they think they are? If we're being honest, like I would like to know, who do you think you are? To have such low vibration casting judgment on somebody trying to do so much good, so much positivity, what makes them happy, that's nothing but a jealous individual. That is evil eye. That is the darkest kind of magic there is. Next to manipulation, but that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to manipulate you into questioning yourself more than they question themselves. Oh, see, misery wants company, but they can't have it. That's what's happening here. Six of swords. Yep. And you have help. You have help to guide you through this. You are moving on up. You are becoming more and more aware, warm, warm, spirited, with your energy as well as what I'm hearing. <sighs> Whether this person likes it or not, good things are happening for you, Gemini. Maybe this person is just ready for them to have a win. It's just really hard because now they get to watch you, just like everybody else, get your blessings and they're still waiting on theirs. But I mean, come on, look at that attitude. Why are you going to pretend like you don't know why your blessings aren't coming in? You know exactly why. It's shit like this right here. <laughs> Ace of Wands and you're just going to keep it moving forward. Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. What is meant for you is meant for you. And the only way that someone can interfere with that is if you let them. And you're not. You're accepting that they don't want you to have it. You're also accepting that they can't bear to see you have it. Then go. Then don't look. Then don't watch. Right? What's that song? Um, if you don't want to see me out, then don't come out. Or something like that. You don't want to see me dancing, then don't come out. I forget how it goes. I think it's Dua Lipa sings that song. Justice is yours. Seven of Pentacles. See, you earned this. You worked really hard for this. You dug your feet in the ground and you stretched up as high as you could. And you imagined your roots going all the way down into the ground, connecting with the other roots. <sighs> that is the best way to ground yourself, by the way. Look at that death card. You're changing your life. Your life is changing and somebody can't handle that, but they're not supposed to. It's not their life that's changing. They don't have to agree with it. They don't have to watch, you know? Eight of Wands, you are absolutely moving forward here. The star card, all the healing, your ability to see both sides of the picture here. If they don't want to come, they don't have to, but I'm going. Like, you can either be a part of this or you can sit back and watch. It's up to you. Make yourself comfy. It's your choice whether you want to RSVP or not. Like, <laughs> and if you come with an attitude, yeah, you're going to be escorted out. Like, you asked for that. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. This, this was an interesting one, but I think you are really at peace with, honestly, however this plays out. You already know where you're going, how you're going to get there. You're just becoming aware that somebody is having a really hard time with it, and that's fine. But you're not going to let that hold you back. Misery wants company. It needs to find different company then, because you're not miserable. It's time to go. And they can come with you. You have no problem bringing them along, helping them. You know, you want to see them do good. You want to help heal them and work with them. But if they're not ready for it, that's their choice. And you're not going to do anything except for respect that. Doodles. Speaking of respect, what was that? Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.